gather on this most holy day, we remember that our Savior died for our sins. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth 
to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are Satan. Right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. God, who have called us to participate in this most sacred supper, in which your only begotten Son went about to hand himself over to death, entrusted to the church a sacrifice new for all eternity, the banquet of his love. Grant, we pray, that we may draw from so great a mystery the fullness of charity and of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This month shall stand at the head of your calendar. You shall reckon it the first month of the year. Tell the whole community of Israel, On the tenth of this month, every one of your families must procure for itself a lamb, one apiece for each household. If a family is too small for a whole lamb, it shall join the nearest household in procuring one and shall share the lamb in proportion to the number of persons who partake of it. The lamb must be a year-old male and without blemish. You may take it from either the sheep or the goats. You shall keep it until the 14th day of this month. And then the whole assembly of Israel present, it shall be slaughtered during the evening twilight. They shall take some of its blood and apply it to two doorposts and the lintel of every house in which they partake of the lamb. That same night they shall eat its roasted flesh with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. This is how you are to eat it, with your lion's girt, sandals on your feet, and your staff in hand. You shall eat like those who are in flight. It is the Passover of the Lord. For the same night I will go through Egypt, striking down every firstborn of the land, both man and beast, and executing judgment on all the gods of of Egypt. I, the Lord, but the blood will mark the houses where you are. Seeing the blood, I will pass over you. Thus, when I strike the land of Egypt, no destructive blow will come upon you. This day shall be a memorial feast for you, which all your generations shall celebrate with a pilgrimage to the Lord as a perpetual institution. The word of the Lord. 
Our blessing cup is a communion with the blood of Christ. Our blessing cup is a communion with the blood of Christ. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take up, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Our blessing cup is a communion with the blood of Christ. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. You have loosed my bonds. Our blessing cup is a communion with the blood of Christ. To you I will offer sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people. Our blessing cup is a communion with the blood of Christ. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I have received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was handed over, took bread, and after he had given thanks, broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way also, the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. From the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Before the feast of Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to pass from this world to the Father. He loved his own in the world, and he loved them to the end. The devil had already induced Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot, to hand him over. So during supper, fully aware that the Father had put everything into his power, and that he had come from God and was returning to God, he rose from supper and took off his outer garments. He took a towel and tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin basin, and began to wash the disciples' feet and dry them with the towel around his waist. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Master, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered and said to him, What I am doing, you do not understand now, but you will understand later. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. And Jesus answered him, Unless I wash you, you will have no inheritance with me. Simon Peter said to him, Master, then not only my feet, but my hands and head as well. And Jesus said to him, Whoever has bathed has no need except to have his feet washed, for he is clean all over. So you are clean, but not all. For he knew who would betray him. For this reason he said, not all of you are clean. So when he had washed their feet and put his garments back on and reclined at table again, he 
He said to them, Do you realize what I have done for you? You call me teacher and master, and rightly so, for indeed I am. If I, therefore, the master and teacher, have washed your feet, you ought to wash one another's feet. I have given you a model to follow, so that as I have done for you, you should also do. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, so many things have changed since last year when we celebrated the Holy Triduum. As you know, we are only here just a couple of people to help me with the Mass. But we gather as God's people wherever we may be, spread throughout the world. Perhaps this is a time of testing and trial for us. Perhaps it is a time of penance for us beyond our Lenten observance. But in any event, we are with everyone else in the world. We are not alone. On this most holy night, Jesus institutes two sacraments, the holy priesthood, and holy, as we call holy orders, and the Eucharist. We focus on the Eucharist because we know that Jesus said uh, that he would give us, he, uh, this is my body, this is my blood, excuse me. This is my body, this is my blood, not a symbol, not a sign, not something we should just take lightly. This is my body and blood. Because his body and blood would be offered truly, in actual fact, on the cross. That's why we believe in the true presence of Christ in the Eucharist. These simple elements of bread and wine through the work of the Holy Spirit and the words of the priests become the body and blood of Jesus Christ. Not a cracker, not a cup of juice, not a symbol as I said but the true body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The psalmist said, how can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? That is a question that comes to the heart of every man who is invited to follow Christ in his priesthood. We don't take that honor upon ourselves. We don't promote ourselves for that. We don't uh, interview for it, so to say. We are called, we are chosen, not because we are special, but because God has a plan. And we are part of that plan. And in response to that, we simply say, Lord, how can I possibly repay you for this incredible gift? I will take up the saving cup of the Lord. To me, that means that I will, by God's grace, as often as I can for as long as I can, I will offer the sacraments, especially the Holy Eucharist, which, as as I said, Christ gave to us on this night. The... Jewish tradition of Passover, one of the children is is given the task of asking the question, Father, what is so important about this night? What is so important about this night, this Holy Thursday? We receive the gift of the body and blood of Jesus Christ, and he institutes a way for us to continue to receive it. That is the Holy Priesthood. That is how, that is what is so important about this night. As we gather as God's people, unfortunately this year we're not able to do foot washing because another part of what Jesus did that night was to show his humility. In that culture, only slaves washed feet. People wore sandals, they walked in dirt. It was a disgusting, filthy job that only the lowest servant would do. And that's who Jesus puts himself in the place of. And he invites his disciples and us to do the same. As his priests, It is hard sometimes to be humble, I'll be honest. It is hard to be humble when people tell you you're doing a great job and we really appreciate you. We have to take that at face value and say thank you, but it's all God. It is all him. He's the one that called, I simply said yes. And it has been a glorious life. There are times that it's tough, there are times when it's difficult, times when it's sad, times when it's exhausting, but it is an incredible life. And I'm going to put in a plug for vocations while I'm at it. You young men who are listening to my voice, if God is calling you, take the next step. Begin with a conversation with mom and dad, with your parish priest. Begin to ask the Lord, what is it that you're asking of me? We certainly do need more priests in our diocese 
and throughout the world. And again, we're bringing all of this together, we have the two sacraments given to us, we have the symbol of Jesus' uh, humility, and we remember the very first part, where did we start? On the night he was betrayed. Not on the best day of his life, not on the best day of his ministry, on the worst possible day, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples. He gave them the cup, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it on the night in which he was betrayed. Jesus, in my mind, had already decided, this is my body and blood. There's no going back now. There's no going back. I'm going to do this, whatever the cost. And he does, and he did that for us. That is what is so special about this night, that we receive the very body and blood of Jesus Christ throughout the centuries in every place where the Mass is worthily celebrated, Jesus is truly present. And he's present with you, with those of you who are at home and unable to come out. He is there with you as well. And we continue, as your priest, to bring you to the altar. Just one more quick thought. When I come to the altar, I bring you with me. I bring each and every one of you. Maybe I don't know all of your names, but I say, Lord, for the people of the parish, the people that you have called me to serve, wherever they may be, I bring you here, and together we receive the body and blood of Jesus Christ. Let us stand and bring our prayers and our needs to the Lord. In thanksgiving for the gift of the Lord's body and blood and for the grace to worship him fervently and receive him worthily, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. That the poor who gave the church on this night the gift of the priesthood May bless and strengthen every priest with the gift of deep holiness and pastoral charity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That our gratitude for the gift of the Eucharist on this night may strengthen our solidarity with the poor in danger of starvation, the lonely in danger of despair, and the unborn in danger of abortion. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For those who suffer with chronic illness, whether physical or mental, and all those who suffer with COVID-19, that they may know the healing and comforting presence of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For deeper unity among all Christians, and end to divisions and a spirit of forgiveness and collaboration, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us in this community, that more and more we may reflect in our lives the Eucharistic love of Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Ben and Cora Minx, the Mass intention for this Mass, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts. For all our intentions, spoken and unspoken, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty, ever-living God, hear the prayers of your people and grant them according to your will, through Christ our Lord.
God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, and will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all this holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray that we may participate worthily in these mysteries, for whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. Through Christ our Lord. For he is the true and eternal priest who instituted the pattern of an everlasting sacrifice and was the first to offer himself as the saving victim, commanding us to make this offering as his memorial, as we eat his flesh that was sacrificed for us, we are made strong, and as we drink his blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth, comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you first for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world. Together with Francis, our Pope, Sean, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls and hope of health and well-being, paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true, celebrating the most sacred day on which our Lord Jesus Christ was handed over for our sake and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, which we make to you as we observe the day on which our Lord Jesus Christ handed on the mysteries of his body and blood for his disciples to celebrate. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect, 
make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become, one, become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer for our salvation and the salvation of all, that is today, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands. And with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. Humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us, who through this participation at the altar, receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sign of peace and the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ a place of refreshment, light, and peace. Hope in your, to us also, your servants, who those sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And let's offer one another a sign of peace. Peace, peace, peace. Lamb of God, you 
take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Then his final 
as you know, on this particular night, we leave in silence. There will be time for Eucharistic adoration. However, due to our limited circumstances and the renovation, there may be some noise for a few minutes, for a while, to, they're going to move some of the pews, but we're certainly welcome to, uh, to come and pray before the Blessed Sacrament today and tomorrow. And let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that just as we are renewed by the supper of your Son in this present age, so we may enjoy his banquet for all eternity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. 